Good afternoon, everybody. Brian Morris here, the Storm Trader. Just wanted to go over the trades for today, uh, August 2nd. It's Thursday, August 2nd, 2018. And we're going to start at 8 a.m. First of all, I wanted to uh, show you my trades for the day. We'll do that right up front. <clears throat> 12, 13 trades, um, 11 winners, 2 losers, $310. And uh, it was mostly from about noon to almost 1.30. So about an hour and a half, about like yesterday, um, with a little bit different result. Uh, I was still over 300 yesterday, trading one contract. So not not a bad day. But uh, anyway, let's go over some trades. So we'll start right off the bat. This was a double top. Now, you know, some of these trades are risky. This one was... Not as bad for me because it uh, was close to the EMA. It was almost an EMA touch and a double top here, but uh, it uh, it worked out. Um, I remember this trade this morning. This one uh, was one that um, I was taking in a simulation and actually lost. And uh, because I moved the stop up too far, thinking that it was going to um, hit the EMA and then bounce off, which it didn't. But it did give me the, the eight tick. So we got 21 and a quarter down to 19 and a quarter. So it was exactly eight ticks. All right, this one we had a nice uh, double bottom here. That was a nice winner. This one we had an EMA bounce. That one scared me a couple of times. We had a uh, quadruple tail, but it, uh, it actually did work out. It never came down to hit the stop, which would have been right below that yellow line. Uh, this one was a continuation. Broke resistance. Came back down to continue for a win. Another double top winner. I'll try to make this a little bit faster today and not explain every single trade. I know that that 20 minutes is, is quite a long time, but uh, if, you, if you want to look at any specific trade, um, you can kind of pause it and take a look and see what happened there. So this one um, was a, uh, this one is more of a continuation, a winner. Oh, wait, I forgot to count all of these. We need to do that, don't we? So we had one, started off with a one, two, three, four, five, six winners so far. I always like to know how many opportunities are available in the day. This one, another continuation for a winner. Another continuation for a loser. Another continuation for, well, let's see, 52 and 3 quarters to 54 and 3 quarters. That one had 8 ticks, so that was 2 wins and a loss. There are a lot of losers today. Um, the market was being very fickle, and um, there, were much, there were many more losers today than uh, I think in previous days. So we'll see how this turns out. Uh, EMA bounce winner, um, double top winner. This one was a kind of a double support area winner. I think that was a winner. 54 and a quarter, 56 and three quarters. Yeah, that one had plenty. So we had one, two, three more winners. I missed a double top there. Which I guess I can count since I'm not I'm just trying to see what how many trades are actually available uh, in any given day. So that one was another winner. It may bounce. I thought this one was going to, technically it did not touch. Um, it's kind of hard to tell because the EMA is a lagging indicator. And uh, it was kind of hard to tell whether or not that had come down far enough to to know where this was going to paint on that candle. Um, so I took it anyway, and then um, it, it was another winner. So this one was a continuation winner, another continuation loser. Mark those. Got an EMA bounce winner, continuation winner, continuation winner. Was that three more winners? This one was a double top winner. 
couple bottom winner. No trade there. Continuation winner barely. Double top winner. There was an EMA bounce I missed. Most of these today uh, were painted in real, uh, were were marked in real time as they were happening. Um, I did not go back and um, and do this after the fact like I had the previous two days. So that was another winner there. This is probably a continuation loser. Yep. It may bounce. That might have been the loser. Five and a quarter. No, that one did make it. That one looks smaller than some of the others, but it made it. I'm gonna get those two trades there. Okay. This one was a double top winner. Continuation winner. Another continuation loser. So we're at 11 o'clock right now, I guess, here. So um, I want to. I always like to count up and split it, the days up into half. So 10, 26 wins and four losses. That was better than I expected for the morning session. 26 wins times $40 trade is $1,040. Minus uh, 40 times. Um, most of those stops today were, I moved the stop to 16 ticks. So that is, uh, let's see, six, uh, six, oops, oops, 16 ticks times 5 ticks. So that's $80. So we had 80 times 4 losers or 320. So we'll take that from the one thousand twenty that's seven hundred dollars seven hundred dollars for the morning trade one contract not too bad so let's go through the afternoon session real quick again this tends to <clears throat> go a lot quicker after the uh, in the afternoon as the the bars don't paint as, as fast after the market has opened and slows down so this is a continuation Six and three quarters to nine. Yeah, that one had enough. One winner. Another, that one was a double bottom for a win. Continuation. Let's see. 15 and three quarters. 17 and three quarters. These guys are just, just snugging in there. Now you kind of see why we do the eight tick targets there. Looks like we're going to have another double bottom here. Yep, that one for the win. Continuation. I'm, I remember uh, these were ones I was really looking at. I think these both won. I remember these during the session. 26 and a quarter. Yeah, that one had nine ticks to give. And this one I think was exactly the same. That one definitely was a winner. So there's, yeah, there's two more there. That's a continuation. That one was a loser. Another continuation winner. Continuation loser. Continuation loser. Well, hold on. Let me do what you, Yeah, that one would have been a loss. This one, 24 and three quarters down to. Yep, that didn't make it. So two losers in a row there. EMA bounce winner. Continuation. Now let's see what this does. A winner. Another continuation winner. So there's three more winners. And I can see we're getting close to the end here. Uh, this was an EMA bounce winner. Another EMA bounce winner. Double top winner.
This one was another EMA bounce loser. That one was the loser. This one was a winner. That one was a winner. Those are double bottoms. So those are two more winners. Continuation winner. Continuation winner. So those are one, two, three, four winners. Another continuation winner. Double bottom. Be close. 78.75 to 80.75, just enough. Another double bottom winner. Continuation winner. I put that in the wrong place. This was actually an EMA bounce for the win, so those are two more. <clears throat> I'm not sure what this is here. This, I don't think, belongs there. I think these were, this is in the, yeah. So let's keep going. EMA bounce for the win. Is there two of them there? 72 and three quarters. So from here to here at one, but then we got back in here again. 74 and a quarter to 76. That one gave us 10 ticks. So there was two wins there. And then another EMA bounce. So three wins there. One, two, three. This one was a, a double bottom for the win. Uh, EMA bounce for the win. Another EMA bounce for the win. Three more. Although I can tell you right now, this one was a loser. So I'm going to mark, just, just as I, I miss winners, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to mark and miss the losers too. So let's mark that loser. I missed that one. There's another. Oh, this brings us to the end of the market. So um, this one, I can't tell you if it's going to 84.75 to 86.75. Yeah, I'll say that one is a winner too. So we'll do that. So that gives us 26 and 5. So almost exactly the same, except we had one more loser, which means our total is going to be $620 since there's one more loser. So. 620 plus the 700 equals $1,320. Now that is uh, 52 and 9 today. So 61 trades. Less than the last two days. Times 260 round trip commission. 158.60. Minus the thirteen twenty. So today, one thousand one hundred and sixty one dollars and forty cents. So on one contract. So imagine trading five contracts in a day. Not a bad day to work. Across, uh, I always say two hundred and forty trading days. There's actually two hundred and fifty. Two, I believe, open market trading days. Um, but uh, then I just round it down to 240, considering you have 12 days, some vacation, some sick days, or if you've got a family like I do, you've got, uh, you know, sometimes you have to stay home with kids, kind of stuff like that. So um, if you multiply that times 240 trading days, that's a lot of money for uh, even one contract. If it was making, um, let's see, a 1320 today plus. Um, what do we make? 1955 Wednesday plus 1896, I think, yesterday. Divide that by three. So an average of, say, call it 1720 times 240. I mean, that's a good, that's a good income trading one contract. 
But, you know, realistically, you don't want to sit there and trade 60 to 70 trades every day from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. I think anybody would go crazy. This is just kind of showing you the available trades that I see on the chart based on the rules of what I'm doing. So if you are interested in, in learning more about how to do this, contact me at thestormtrader at gmail.com, or you can contact me on Twitter at thestormtrader, or just comment on the video below, and uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow.